Hey guys, yeah, so people constantly ask me right now if it is possible to charge one of these Bluetooth speakers faster than they do right now. So they're wondering if they're taking a more powerful uh, charger, if it's possible to cut down on the charging time. And so the uh, answer to that is what we're going to find out today here. So I'm going to make a couple of tests and uh, we're going to compare a whole bunch of different speakers so i have here my jbi lineup that's the flip 4 or the flip 5 the charge 4 then here this is the extreme 2 the extreme 2 actually has its own power supply it doesn't run on the usb so we can't test this one today but then we have here the pulse 4 and then and we have some other brands this is here the picasso the soundstream picasso then here the macau bamboo speaker and then here the decal also like an illuminated speaker so we're going to compare these we're going to test these how fast the these speakers actually uh, charge and if it's possible to have them charge any faster than you are today and the way we're going to do this is by using one of these usb testers so uh, these are going to show us exactly the voltage and the amps that we are using here to charge so uh, in case of the voltage, since we are using here USB or USB 1, 2 and 3, it's only, always going to be 5 volts or just around 5 volts. So the only difference that we are going to expect here is the amps, uh, depending on what charger we are using. And in our test today, we're going to first use here these older standard Apple iPhone charger. This one has a 1 amp supply and then we also have here different jbl charger that i have for a long time this one can supply i believe 2.3 amps and by the way in case you're wondering and you have like one of these usb type c chargers for example just like this apple charger here you see here this type c connector which some of the new speakers actually support then uh, this one is also going to use most likely 5 volts and up to 2.4 amps so it's not really any faster than what I have here with this black charging cube from JBL. Okay, so now let us start with the first measurement. So we're doing this here with the JBL Charge 4. This is here the latest model of the charge family. I'm going to show you here the entire process, how I'm going to do these measurements. And then later on with the next speakers, we're going to uh, fast forward this a little bit. So you see here I'm connecting the speaker here with a relatively short charging cable to this uh, USB digital tester and we see here with the smaller with the uh, iPhone charger the 1M charger we have 1.3 amps now let's compare this here to the bigger JBL charger which can do up to 2.3 amps and you see here this time here this measures 1.6 amps so it is charging a little bit faster it's able to provide a little bit more power to the speaker okay so now the next test here is the uh pulse 4 and this one with a small charger also 1.3 amps just like the uh, charge 4 and then here with the bigger charger 1.9 so this is actually even more than with the charge 4 so this is also a way newer speaker so maybe that has something to do with it now here is the flip 5 see also 1.3 just like all the other three other two uh, speakers and now 1.8 amps with the bigger charger and now here the older flip 4 this one still uses the micro usb connector this one also has 1.3 amps with the apple charger but then when we use the bigger charger, then we have no change here. So using a bigger or more powerful charger doesn't make any difference for the Flip 4. Okay, so next we have here this Macau bamboo speaker. Here in the little fly, fine print you see uh, just above the charging port, it says requires 5 volts and 2 amps. So let's see what this one is reading out here. So first the Apple charger see actually it fluctuates between zero and just a little bit maybe one amp once in a while so you see 
the small Apple charger is actually not even able to supply enough power for it so it actually probably goes into some safe mode and uh, shuts down. And now going to the bigger charger, you see here this is really maxing it out with over 2.3 amps. That's all that this charger can supply. Okay, now next we have these decal speaker here, this illuminated one, and this one actually only pulls 0 0.6 amps. So this one does not even pull the full capacity of the Apple charger. And it's the same with the uh, bigger charger, of course. So it won't charge any faster with the bigger charger. And now here, the last speaker that we have today here, that's the uh, Soundstream Picasso. This one also says it's uh, it's going to pull two amps here. Let's see what this one does. And you see here, this one is only pulling what, like one amp with the Apple charger and 1.1 amp with the uh, JBL charger, which can supply up to 2.3 amps. So yeah, so this one does not pull as much as it says it does. Okay, so we went through all of our test candidates today. And so now let's do a little recap here. We're starting out with all the JBL speakers. We can see here that all the newer models, that is every single model except for the Flip 4, is actually able to pull more amps than uh, the uh, small Apple charger with only one amp can supply. So here it does make sense to get a bigger charger, one that can supply more. So then let's have a look at the other speakers here. Start out with that Macau bamboo speaker, which actually does need quite a powerful supply to even charge at all. And then we have the decal speaker and the Picasso, which do not really need anything bigger than this one amp Apple charger. Okay, so this is pretty much it for today. In case you have a different speaker that you have made your measurements for, then don't forget to post those measurements below because I bet everybody else is really curious to find out what those measurements are. Yeah, and in case you found this video helpful and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my other videos.